Ta-da! Hi there folks, thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This is Cooking with Sasha China. And first off, I'd like to mention, look at my new apron. It's actually the right way around. This is my friend Hayley. She's gonna join me today Yay! in this video. And this video today is how to prep your new cast iron skillet. So, actually it was my birthday the day. Please leave some messages down below. To say happy birthday to me, 21. <laughs> No, so um, my boyfriend brought me this, so I've been looking online on how to prep it, how to season it, and to go from there. So the first thing you're gonna need, obviously, is your cast iron skillet. You're gonna need some oil. You're gonna need some oil that is of, obviously of a low burning point. So whatever you do, don't use olive oil. Um, a lot of people use canola oil or flaxseed oil. The only one I've got in at the moment is vegetable oil, so that you can use that. So I've got that here today. You need heaps of kitchen paper as well. You can need a sponge, but you can use the metal sponges, the um, metal wire sponges, but unfortunately I haven't got one, so I'm just gonna use this for the it's fine. <laughs> but also the most important thing you need is a gin and tonic and a wine. Monique, that's for you. <laughs> Anna, thank you for this, my apron. And also guys, I just wanna quickly show you my chopping board as well that she got me. Check it out, Cooking with Sasha China. I may even do a competition, um, but obviously, I'm gonna speak to Anne about that one first. Look at me going off script. <laughs> so obviously, the first thing you need to do is wash your skillet in warm, soapy water, give it a quick rinse round, and then you're gonna want to dry it off completely. That's Memphis taking his box of toys, right? All right, so I'm gonna move you to the sink now. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is get some warm water on the go. And now we're going to rinse it in some warm, soapy water. So on your sponge or your metal chain link sponge, just give it a quick rinse. And give it a quick wash. Because obviously if it's brand new from the factory, you just need to try and get all that off as well. Get the bottom bit as well because we're going to be coating that, the handle and everything as well, okay? Now just rinse it off. I'll tell you, you're going to need some muscle for this. <laughs> <laughs> it's heavy. It's very heavy. Because Hayley actually wrapped it up for me for my birthday, so. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. There we go. And now we're going to dry it off. Okay, so once you've given it a rinse and a wash, you're gonna to want to dry it immediately. So make sure you give it a good dry everywhere because obviously that's what's gonna make it rust with it being iron as well. Try and dry it off as much as possible. On my chopping board, I've just placed some kitchen paper just to try and absorb a bit more of the uh, water on there as well. Again, cheers. Happy, what day is it today, Hayley? Thursday. Mm. <laughs> Monique, happy Thursday, it's for you. <laughs> and if Mike, my area manager, is watching this, it's okay. It's only 12 o'clock in the afternoon, so it's fine. I've got work later. <laughs> Not later. <laughs> Not till tomorrow morning. Righto, so make sure it's really dry. And I'm just gonna keep drying that and we'll come back. Okay, so once you've completely dried your uh, cast iron skillet, you're gonna wanna put it onto your stove. If you haven't got a gas stove top, you can pop it in the oven for about 10 minutes, but you wanna get it completely dry. Do remember that these bits here are gonna get very hot. So just let it sit there for about a minute or so to get completely dry, and that's when we're gonna start seasoning it with the vegetable oil. We'll come back when that's ready. Okay, so once you've had it on the uh, split, hello, so you can see me. <laughs> so once you've had it um, drying out completely on the gas stove, you're now going to want to season it. So this is where your oil comes in and your kitchen roll. So what you're going to do, you're going to put some oil in there and you're going to season it by a couple of tablespoons in there. And now we're gonna get some kitchen roll and we're going to just rub it in everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean all around the sides, the bottom, the tops, 
even the handle as you can see here because you want to get absolutely everywhere because well now if anyone can tell me why you say seasoning instead of sealing please feel free to leave a comment down below all right so now we're going to turn it over all good like that and we're going to do even the bottom as well So we're going to make sure we do everywhere like that. Do it a nice liberal coating because you want that everywhere. And then afterwards, it's going to make no sense whatsoever, but we're actually going to wipe it off. So, <laughs> slippery, slippery, slippery young fella. <laughs> like that. Should get everywhere like that, and now we're going to turn it over and we're going to get a fresh, dry piece. I can't speak, sorry, guys. Fresh, dry piece <laughs> twice <laughs> of uh, kitchen paper, and this is where we're going to actually dry it off. We're going to try and take off as much as possible because all you need literally is just a thin, thin layer on there. I did forget to mention that at the, at, well, at the beginning of this, I do have my oven set at two, 300 Celsius. Sorry, because you want to now put this in the oven. Once you've actually taken off most of your um, oil, you're going to want it to sit in there for about an hour on the highest that your oven will go. Do put a baking tray in there to catch any drippings, but like I said, there shouldn't be any drippings because you're going to be taking it off, most of it off now. You just want a thin layer because that's what's going to coat the skillet. Turn it back over, go back in the middle, and as you can see, it's got the slight glistening to it. That's what you want. Alrighty, we're gonna pop that in now for an hour. We'll come back when it's ready. So another thing I forgot to say was, when you do put it in the oven, you have to tip it upside down and have the baking tray underneath so it does catch any bits of oil that come out. Obviously there shouldn't be any oil, but if there is, it catches it. Also, when you are wiping it, if you do see some black bits, don't worry about it. That's perfectly not normal. Normal. Hmm. Alrighty, so the skillet has come out the oven. I did let it cool in there. I also took it out to cool up to room temperature. I put on my little uh, griffies for the handle and also the uh, other handle grip. So as you can see now, it's got a nice shiny glaze to it. Um, I, I am going to say that if you really want a real nice seasoning to it or a seal, you're going to have to do about three or four times to get it really nice. I've already just done the ones because I'm actually going to use it again tonight for dinner. Um, and then after this, I'll do the whole process again to try and get it good. Anyway, so here we go. This was Cooking with Sasha China and this was how to... Um, prep your skillet thanks for watching if you have any comments please leave the comments down below also please like and subscribe this uh, channel again if you leave any comments i will always respond thanks for watching guys this is cooking with sasha china see you in my next one bye now bye bye now